y'all, it is your girl Glitter Mama here, and today I am here because I need to do a public service announcement, so a PSA, okay? Um, and this is about toxic relationships. Of course, if you clicked on it, you would already know what it's about. Um, so before we get started, I have been in so many toxic relationships, and I never heed the warnings um, in time basically and then when it was too late and I got my heart broken what can you do you know what I'm saying so I hope that you find some tips in here this is just something that I experienced and I also asked a few other people to put in some that they have experienced or they've seen and um yeah so let's just get to it okay so first of all before we start i want to kind of tell you that i i i don't know why i'm telling you in this video i could have waited until i did a later video to do this but i felt like you guys had the right to know this because it is something that has basically taught me a really hard lesson in life about relationships and people and all sorts of things like that um and that is um i have been cheated on before and i have been in an abusive relationship before so if you're interested in me like talking about you know being cheated on before or or stories that i you know of me finding out that my exes were cheating on me um then let me know and then also if you want to want me to do like you know um signs of an abusive relationship or signs that somebody is cheating on you or signs of cheating my personal opinion and my views or you know you know from my point of view basically then let me know down down in the comment section because I will totally appreciate it if you're interested in that because I think I'm going to do a little bit more advice giving on this channel too I just thought that would be something cool to do so so yeah so let's just get started. So I want to let you know something. Relationships is about teamwork. Like I know that's silly to say that about it, but it is basically based um, on teamwork. So I'm sorry, I'm looking over, but I have a notebook because like I always forget stuff like I always do. So the first thing that I would have to say, um, about a toxic relationship is that if especially if it's coming from a toxic person they will have like they will want the attention on them basically they want you to you know babysit them or like you know feel sorry or feel guilty that you know feel guilty you would feel guilty if you left them basically if that makes sense so so number one would be that if they had medical like medical issues of some sort now if later on down the road they'd say you know like you know they pull you to the side and you're y'all are in like a really deep conversation or it's just between you you two and he or they be like hey i have to tell you something i've had this since we've been dating even beforehand but i'm very sick or i have mental issues that's a different story because you know it's very it's a very different situation when like down the road when you are deep 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 in y'all's relationship when you come out with skeletons in your closet i know that sounds crazy because a lot of people will be like no let's just have an open open discussion but to me i feel like the first month is you getting to, used to the person and like their their tics and all of that fun jazz it's nothing to do with like um you know anything like that you know what I'm saying like you're just trying to like go with the flow of things when it comes to the start of a relationship so you're getting to know their name you're getting to know like you know their favorite color what they do for a living uh, things like that you know what I'm saying nothing too deep in in depth like the very first you know you guys are just like basically you're like you guys are acting like new best friends like you're hanging out together you're even though you guys probably make out and probably do a little you know something, something on the side you know hopefully you guys wait wait longer than a month to give it to them because girl that's not um 
that's not a way to stay classy. Let me just put it this way. If you give all your goodies away at the beginning, okay? That's that's another thing that I'm going to talk about in this video. Okay, secondly is that they prefer um they prefer to talk about themselves all the time or they want you to talk about them all the time. Like, you know, or they want you to worry about them all the time like um like, are you okay? Like, if, if I was in a relationship with somebody and that person was like, well, what about me? Like, I'm, 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 I'm. like it's all about me in the situation. Get the fuck away from that. That place. That, that's just, ugh. Um, secondly, oh, secondly, I don't know. I, I lost count. Next is if they play victim. Basically, um, if they play victim in the situations, whether y'all are in an argument, whether y'all have a disagreement, and they say, or they'll make you seem like you're the bad person like if that makes sense so like they're like well you're the one that started it. you're the one that did this when really it was both of y'all's fault or it was their fault you know what i'm saying and they're not or they don't admit to their their crap you know what i'm saying like I, that to me is just like eye roller right there let me just put it that way um nextly is if the relationship is one-sided whether it could be you're not giving it all or they're not giving it all and the other person is giving it all and they're and you know what I'm saying like one or the other is giving basically one person is in the relationship and the other one is just sitting there with their hands stuck in their pants let's just put it that way um that is just I I trust me on that one I've had that type of relationship before and that is a no no a no no okay so the next one is is the how you know this is a toxic relationship is if you guys don't communicate properly um if you guys are on your phones all the time texting or whatever you guys are doing that is a toxic relationship you're not going nowhere like if you're sitting at one end of the couch with that person and that's the way you're spending your quality time and you're not talking to each other and getting to know one another that's toxic let me just put it that way because eventually you guys your phone is going to die and you're gonna have to put down that phone and that other person's phone's not dead yet you're gonna be sitting there like this i'm i'm just saying okay next is if they're obsessively cleaning like obsessively like like they want to know like every move you make or you can't go anywhere without them being around if that makes sense like I had that before and um basically if I went to the store and stuff my significant other had to go with me like like I could not like even go to my my family's of all thing like my grandmother's house of all places without this person coming with me and I don't know. I don't know if they were, I mean, I guess they're scared that you're going to talk crap about them or that you're going to run off and find somebody else way, way better than them. And if they've got that problem, they've got a lot of, um, what is that called? Self-esteem issues. So that's another thing is if they have a lot of self-esteem issues and that they are just, you know, they're like, oh, well, I'm scared you're going to go out there and find somebody else bah like if you're down to me to begin with and you that means that that's just showing me that you don't trust me enough to be faithful you know what i'm saying like you know like i'm giving you the utmost like respect and giving you trust when i could have been like okay well i'm not trusting this guy until he proves it to me which i'm telling you once you lose their trust that's another sign to get out of there too i mean everybody should know that already like once that trust is gone in the relationship bye bitch you better be out of there like you better get go somewhere else you know or tell that person to go somewhere else one or the other um another thing is if they are talk that like they're straight up like this is the most crazy thing like they're professing your love like day one like they're like oh baby i love you so much i want to have your baby i want to i want to put you in a house and a mansion on top of whatever um whatever the situation is you know what i'm saying like if they're telling you like you're there you're their world and it's not even a month into your relationship that is like when you're gonna be like hold up mother let's 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 kind of rephrase and see what our relationship where our relationship is going um so another thing 
that I would say you need to war off, ward off about. Ugh. Sorry. Another thing that you should just like back up against, back up, back away from is that people are wanting you to like talk dirty to them and you're not even dating the person or you're dating the person but you're not you know like you guys are just chilling and hanging out kind of thing like and they're sending you their their pp pictures or wanting you to send their your boo picture or vice versa you know like whatever the situation is you know what i mean um other things are if they're controlling that is a no-no like if they're controlling every ounce and minute of your life the no like if they if they are using you um if you feel like you're being used at some point in, the, in their life um in the life or if you catch them in lies i mean those should be like the um captain obvious ones um but yeah that's all i can think of right now that on the top of my head like from my previous relationships but if you have any other great tips just leave them down below um that way we can just kind of spread the world of spread the 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 word about toxic relationships and that way we don't have to deal with any shitty ass people anymore and we can just be like <sighs> you know what i mean like get these fake ass motherfuckers and bitches out of my our lives because that's we don't got time for that you know we don't so so um thanks for watching i hope that you love this video or like this video or got something out of this video um and don't forget that if you're dressed up or dressed down you're beautiful bye